Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of a BAP dictionary or data dictionary. And our new topic is data browser. Word itself is saying we will browse the data of the tables. We will learn how to display the data of the table or we will learn how to explore the data of the tables. And SAP provided so many inbuilt features whenever we are displaying the data of the tables. And it is extremely important that we should know that these are the various features available which will help us to browse the data of the table. In the future, whenever you will develop the programs based upon these tables, based upon the tables. So we must know that how we can explore or how we can display the data of the table. If we don't know how to display the data of the tables effectively, is how we can verify the output of our program. So in next two to three videos, we will learn full data browser and it will help you widely, widely help you whenever you will develop the programs, whenever you will display the data of the tables. Now, in SAP, the for the data browser, the transaction code is SC16 or SC16N. SC16 or SC16N is the transaction code for the data browser. SC16N is a newer version of SC16 or we can understand in a way SC16N is the newer version of data browser and that is extremely user friendly. Anyways, we will cover both because sometimes people are comfortable with SC16. Sometimes they are comfortable with SC16N. Now, you can go to data browser with the help of SC11 also. In the previous videos, when you saw every time I'm going to the data of the table through SC11 only. So ultimately, it's your wish how you want to go. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. So firstly, I will show you that how you can go to data browser with the help of SC11. You can pass the name of the table. Now I want to check the data of this table. So I will simply, simply click on to contents button. And you can see ultimately it is navigating to data browser. So this is SC16 transaction code only. From SC11, ultimately we navigated to SC16. Now we can directly go to SC16 also. Suppose I am going to SC16. So this is data browser initial screen. You can give the name of the table for which table you want to display the data or you want to check the data. This is our order header table. Once I press enter, you can see same to same data browser. Now I will go to SC16N. So this is SC16N. It is a newer version, newer version of SC16. So you can go to data browser, either you can navigate through SC11, you can go to SC16 or you can go to SC16N. Now we will start with all these features, all features of data browser one by one. And surely, surely a good technical person is one who know, yes, these are the various inbuilt features or shortcuts available. And with I should use all these features. Now, this is our SC16. This is our SC16. Now, first thing, this, this screen, 
this screen is called as input screen or selection screen. So if someone is using that term input screen or someone is using that term selection screen, one and the same thing. In the future, whenever we have the programming, we have so much stress on this topic, selection screen or input screen. So this is your input. This is your input where you are passing the input, input. Yes. And once I will go to execute, I will click on to the execute button. This is my output screen. This is the data of the table. So this is your input screen or selection screen. And this is your output screen. This is your output screen. Now, first thing we will start now. First query. Many times and from maximum people, this is the question. Yes, I for you, ONO, ODATE, PM, TA, CURR is there. For us, order number, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency is there. Your screen is different from our screen. The screens are not different. These are just the settings. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code and show you what is this ONO OTA? When we created that table, these are the field names which we gave. ONO, ODATE, PM, TA, CUR. ONO, ODATE, PM, TA, CUR. So these are your field names. Field names. Now, for as of now, field names are visible. If I will click on to execute button also, you can see as of now field name are visible. So it is not the case. Your screen is different from my screen. It is just a setting. So if I want to see the descriptions of these columns, I will simply go to settings. I will simply go to user parameters. And have you seen as of now, which radio button is ticked? Field name. Field name is column name. You can simply, simply choose field label. And once I will press enter, have you seen now rather than field name, field labels are visible. Now the next important thing you all know very well where you gave the field labels in the data elements. So these are coming from data elements. If I will show you for the order number, when we created the data element in the field label, we gave order number. That's why order number is visible. In the data element of order date, we gave order date. That's why this order date is visible. So it is not the case. Your screen is different from my screen. It is same. It is just a settings. So you can go for field name or you can go for field label. Ultimately, it depends upon your comfort. If I will simply, simply click on to execute, you can see here also we are able to see the field labels. Now, we are not able to see field names. Field labels are visible. So this is the way you can change the settings. Now, next thing, next thing. Now, suppose as of now, I will simply, simply go to settings. I will go to user parameters. And have you seen as of now, which radio button is ticked? ALV grid display. And the second one is ALV list. In the future, we have full flash topic on ALV grid and ALV list. Suppose if as of now, this radio button is ticked. Suppose ALV grid. I will go to OK. I am executing. So this is your grid. This is your grid. Grid. Now what is grid? In case of grid, 
we can expand we can expand the width of the column it is that some sort of dynamic dynamic thing is there dynamic thing now if i will go to alb list settings user parameters if i will choose alb list once i will press enter have you seen i cannot expand the width of the column it is some sort of static static list it is list previously we have the grid because these are the questions from the people your screen is different from my screen it's not a different screen at all these are the various things and ultimately it depends upon comfort sometime people are comfortable with list sometime people are comfortable with grid so list is some sort of static static width you cannot increase or decrease the width it is fixed fixed list now whenever you want a dynamic list whenever you want is some sort of dynamic output dynamic width of the columns you can go to settings user parameter you can go to alb grid here we can increase or decrease the width of the column in the future once we cover this topic as a part of programming then you will find so many differences between list and grid but from the data browser perspective only this much knowledge is enough yes in case of grid it is some sort of dynamic dynamic output display where you can increase or decrease the width of the column but once you are going to alb list it is some sort of static static length data you cannot increase or decrease the length of the columns length of the columns now what is the summary of this video up to this level in this video we started with the topic data browser and it is very important that we should know how to display the data of the tables because if we don't know if we develop programs in the future we will not be able to verify that whatever the output is coming from our program is right or not so it is extremely important that we should know how to explore how to browse how to display the data of the tables now you can go to data browser through sc16 through sc16 and or from sc11 also you can go to sc16 sc16 n is a newer version of data browser whenever you are going to data browser this is called as input screen or selection screen and this is called as output screen where your data of the table is ultimately displaying first thing if your descriptions are coming if your field labels are coming but you are comfortable with field names so you can go to settings user parameter you can change it to field name if field names are coming and you are comfortable with field label you can change the radio button to field label yes ultimately it depends upon your comfort and field labels are coming from where data elements next thing we covered alb grid is some sort of dynamic dynamic length we can increase or decrease the width of the column in case of alb list it is static static we cannot increase or decrease the width of the column as of now there is no need to go into detail of alb because it is totally totally a programming topic from the data browser perspective this much knowledge is enough if you know a full form the full form of alb is a bap list viewer a bap list viewer or it is also called as application list viewer but as of now only this much knowledge is enough so alb is a bap list viewer or application list viewer and we have list and grid 
ALV is of two ALV grid or ALV list. Now in the next video, we will explore more more features of data browser. So that's it in this video. Thank you.